All right, I am three classes. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about equations of circles. Let's get started. General equation of a circle. Uh, we have uh, X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared, where H and K are the X and Y coordinates of the center of the circle. And those are equal to R squared, where R is the radius. Remember the radius, is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. We have a little diagram here, H and K, so here's our, set, our, our center, and then the radius is, uh, R is the distance from there to um, the edge of the circle. Let's look at an example. The first thing we're gonna be doing is graphing these. All right, so uh, remember the formulas, X minus H squared plus, y minus k squared is equal to r squared. First thing we want to do is identify the center and the radius, uh, starting with the center. The center here, uh, or h and k, if you notice from our equation here, x squared plus y squared equals 36. We're not subtracting anything from the x or y, so that's just like zero. All right, so if you're not subtracting anything from X or Y, that means the coordinates, the H and K are just zero. So we have a center at zero, zero. The radius, so this, it's important to note, right? Our equation is R squared, so that means this is R squared. We want to know what the radius is. So um, if R squared is 36, figure out the radius is you need to square it. So if you square root both sides, instead of square, you need to square root both sides. So the radius is six, All right? How do you plot this? Uh, you start at the point, you plot your center, zero, zero, All right? And then using the radius, you're just gonna plot additional points um, and it's straight away. So uh, we're gonna do uh, four points that are, have a distance of six away from the center to the right, left, up and down. So starting with the right, so uh, six from the center is here, six from the center up is here, six from the center to the left is here, and then down six, All right? And then uh, do your best to connect the dots with a circle. Uh, sometimes it's a little hard on this board I'm working with. Yeah. Not a great circle, that's okay. Yours will look better. Um, let's do an example where the center is not at zero, zero. So here we have our equation, uh, x squared, x minus two squared plus y plus three squared is equal to nine. So again, I'm gonna remind you, the general equation for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Or the center. Uh, what you need to remember, uh, this is kind of like the other uh, graphs that we worked with way at the beginning of the semester, so you might not remember, that's okay. Uh, the, the, um, the coordinates for the center are always going to be opposite of what's in here. So if it's x minus two, since it's minus two here, our H is gonna be a positive two, all right? Y plus three, since uh, it's plus three here, the K is gonna be minus three. It's always going to be opposite. And that's because of the general equation. It's gonna make sense when we do the next problem. But what you need to remember is it's the opposite. Minus here, positive for the coordinate. Plus here, negative for the coordinate. They're always opposite. So this one here, uh, R squared, again, is nine. So if you square root both of those, you get R is three, so our radius is three. So I'm gonna start off the same way that we did the last one. So it's gonna be the center is at two, negative three. So I'm gonna go to the right two, down three, put a point, and then I'm going to, to go three to the left, right, up and down, um, from the center, so from the radius. So here I'll start with the right. So three to the right, one, two, three, right here. Three above, one, two, three, right here. 
three to the left, one, two, three, right here, three down, one, two, three. There we go. And then I can connect these with a circle. This one's looking better. Let's see. Much better. Not perfect, but much better of a circle. All right. Um, let's look at our next type here. Uh, write the equation of the circle in standard form. So here we're given the center is at three, negative 16, and the radius is three. Uh, so again, I'm gonna put that in black. Uh, the general equation is X minus H squared plus Y, need that in parentheses, Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. Uh, from here, uh, a reminder, so we already have the radius, we're gonna plug that in. This is the H, this is the K. So when I plug these things in, I'm actually gonna write this down with the blanks, leaving, leaving out the H, K, and R, and then just fill in the blanks with the appropriate information here. So filling in the blanks. Uh, H right here is three, so I'm gonna substitute in for H. Right here, uh, K is negative 16. So negative 16 is gonna go in for K here. And then R, the radius is three. So that's gonna go in for R here. So just fill in those appropriate blanks. Uh, so the H is three, the K is negative 16. Don't forget the negative, And then the R is three. So now when we simplify, uh, this is just X minus three squared plus here, um, if you notice minus a negative 16. So minus negative 16 becomes plus 16. So this is Y plus 16 squared is equal to three squared is nine. So there's our equation. And here you can see why it is opposite. So why when we have minus here, it's a positive coordinate because it's uh, minus H. So if we put in a positive value in for H, it, just still, it still says minus the H value. Uh, but like if it was, we put in a negative value like we did for the K, minus k and k is negative becomes minus negative but then turns it into positive so that's why it's always always opposite that's going to be the most common mistake i see in these just remember the coordinates are opposite of what you see here you see minus three that means the h is positive you see plus 16 that means the k is negative all right um yeah let's do we'll do this one all right, so same idea. I'm going to have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So the h is 6. The y or the k is negative 6. And r is the square root of 23. So when we simplify everything, that's still just x minus six squared plus minus a negative six becomes plus six squared. Square root of 23 squared is just 23. And there is our equation. All right, next. Uh, next type of problem. So this is the last type of problem for this lesson here. Uh, given the center and a point on the circle, write an equation of of, uh, of the circle. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you how to do this two ways. Uh, first is so we can kind of get an idea of why this works this way. We're gonna graph these two points and kind of show what the circle's like. So uh, negative four, five. So negative left four, up five, here's our center. And then negative seven, eight. So negative seven, up eight, here's the point. Uh, on the circle. So if I were to 
graph this, the circle is going to look something. I'm going to do my best to, to get it in here. Uh, not a great circle, but it's good enough for what we're going to do. Um, so here's our, our circle, all right? Uh, the center is real simple when we're writing the equation. This is our H, that's our K. Uh, what we need to find is the radius. And so we have enough information here to find the radius. The radius, again, is going to be the distance from the edge of the circle to the center. A lot of people are just going to want to count saying, oh, it crosses three blocks or boxes here. One, two, three. Uh, it doesn't work that way because it's diagonal. We can't just cross them that way. So what we're going, what I'm going to do is uh, make a right triangle with this, all right? Uh, when we see this right triangle, um, you can kind of see that this is going to be a Pythagorean theorem problem. So this is R, what we're trying to find. I can count these distances here. So one, two, three, you can count straight distances. So this is three, and then it goes up three. So I can use Pythagorean theorem, which we've done a lot in this class. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And what's gonna happen is A and B, I'm just gonna fill in some blanks here in a second. A and B are uh, the distances here. So three and three in this case. So three, three, and C is R, what we're trying to find. So we get uh, three squared plus three squared is nine. Plus nine is equal to R squared. And then nine plus nine is 18. We don't actually have to square root it at this point. We don't, we're not actually, uh, the, the goal is to write an equation on the circle, right? And since we know what R squared is, so the general form of the circle is gonna be X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. Um, we know what R squared is. All of R squared is equal to 18. So I can just put that whole 18 in for R squared. Be done. And so here, um, remember it's opposite, it's x minus h, h is negative four, minus the negative four becomes plus four. So it's x plus four plus y minus five is equal to r squared, that whole thing is 18. And there we have our equation right here. All right, last problem. Uh, if you don't have graph paper handy, and, or maybe you just don't want to graph things like that, and you're like, come on, Keller, what are we supposed to do here? Um, you can still do this without graph paper. Let me show you how to do it. It's the same idea. We're still going to use Pythagorean theorem. We still need to find R squared. What we're going to do is just kind of count uh, the distances. Just think about how far apart these, these points are. So the center is at negative 13, negative 6. And then the point on the circle is negative 11, negative 7. I'm going to go back a slide for one second. If you notice, all we did here with making the right triangle is we did that to figure out how far apart the two part of the points are in the x direction and how far apart they are in the y direction. Right? We are going to do the same thing with these two points. Um, you don't need to worry about positive or negatives for this. You just need to put the values in. Um, so just think, uh, how far apart is negative 13 from negative 11? If you look at a number line, how far apart are those? There's a distance of two between them, right? How far apart is negative six and negative one? Think about a number line, they only have a distance of one, all right? So, these, so this is the distance in the x direction, this is the distance in the y direction, these are a and b for Pythagorean theorem. So a squared, plus b squared is equal to c squared. a is two, b is one, and c, 
uh, is the radius, because we are trying to find the radius of a circle here. All right, so two squared is four, plus one squared is one, is equal to r squared. Four plus one is five, is equal to r squared. Again, I don't need to square root it. I'm not actually trying to find the radius. I'm trying to find the information, the right equation of the circle. So I have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to uh, r squared, substituting the value. So h is negative 13. So minus the negative 13 becomes positive 13 plus 13. K is negative six, so Y minus a negative six becomes plus six. And R squared is five. And there we go, we are done. Uh, that'll do it uh, this time. Uh, next lesson, we're gonna work more with um, equations of circles. Fun times. <laughs>